Hi everybody, thanks for tuning in and watching this video again, thank you very much. Um, in my last few videos I've discussed the whole subject of um, playing in different keys on a chromatic harmonica. Um, be honest, any chromatic harmonica player, if you remember the reason why you bought a chromatic harmonica in the first place, is because you knew you can play in any key or scale on a chromatic harmonica. So rather than buying 12 or I don't know how many diatonics, you can just do everything with one chromatic. Just remember that that's the reason, the main reason why you bought your chromatic harmonica in the first place, let's be honest. But it's quite surprising how many people then get their harmonica and decide to just play it in C and don't bother with anything else. Again, I've explained the point why I believe you should be exploring playing in different keys and different scales and etc. I've also explained the difference between major tone ladders and minor scales tone ladders. And I mentioned in my last video that I was going to do a series of short videos of playing in different keys. But I've decided to do something else instead. Playing in different keys takes work. It takes, it takes an effort. You have to make an effort to learn how to play in different keys. It messes with your head in the beginning, especially with all the blows and draws being in different places everywhere. And it takes a bit of study. So what I've done instead is I made a file. The link is here below the video. I've made a, a little document where it shows you how to play in every possible key. All 12 keys. Um, it's a PDF document. You can print this off. Um, and just keep that as a reference guide. If you ever come across a piece of music and you think, oh, that's in the key of E flat. Hang on a second. How do I play in the key of E flat? And then you can get your reference document, practice the key of E flat, look at it and think, ah, oh yeah, practice it a few times. When you get it into your head, then you can play the piece of music. Um, so please download the file that I've made up. Uh, the link again is in the description of this video. And just have a look at it, study it and just get your head around these different keys. Um, the file contains basically everything. It contains the written notes, so on a stave but it also got the note names underneath, so you know which notes you're playing, like, uh, I don't know, F sharp or uh, C flat or whatever. So all the note names are there, but also all the tabs are there. It's got an explanation at the top of the file how these tabs work. So you've got the whole number, and then if it's just the whole number, it's a blow note. If it's got a, a little curl in front of it, it's a draw note. Um, a, um, a little symbol to show when you, where you need the slider, etc. Everything is visible in this file. So what I would recommend is download it, keep it as a reference guide. So keep it somewhere so you can keep looking at it, coming back to it, etc. Now, as I said in some of my previous videos, do you really need to play in all 12 different keys? No, of course not, you don't. But maybe you become a more versatile player for definitely if you can play maybe in three or four different keys. Um, again, please download the file, have a look study it and if you come across a certain key or if you see say a piece of music with three sharps or four flats have a look at the file hang on what key is this what 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 scale am i playing here and you can look it up study it and 
learn to play it and then any of the 12 keys are all on the file some people will come across a certain piece of music that they want to play and say oh hang on i want to play that key and it's different for everybody some people just learn um if you're into tra traditional music uh, scottish celtic irish music or things like that you'll be usually learning the, the keys of d uh, g and a because most of them we are played with fiddle players and, and things like that um whereas jazz players prefer mostly the, the 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 flat keys so in other words the keys with flats um generally speaking um the keys that come with sharps they are the keys that start on a white note on the piano so they start the do or the sa is a natural note so if the key the, the scale starts on a white note usually it comes with one or more sharps um, and the keys that start on the black notes on the keyboard or the keys that start with the do on one of the black notes so where if you need the slider on your do then usually it's written in flats this goes for most of the keys the only exception there is the key of f which is a bit awkward um, it doesn't really work like that so the key of f is a bit of a it's a bit of an ugly duckling in the whole series and but just have a go another thing that is generally um, <clears throat> applies to most of the sharp keys is that um, you start so the do is either a blow or a draw note then at some point in the scale you will have two draw notes next to each other so as long as you remember <coughs> whether you need to start on a blow or a draw and you remember where your two draw notes are that helps you to remember the scale but again maybe i'm talking absolute nonsense here i don't know maybe this doesn't make sense but have a look at the file download it print it off and keep it as a reference somewhere for yourself if you ever come across a piece of music in a certain key or you want to learn a certain key or scale you can always use that file to find out have a bit of practice in that particular scale the scale that i've written there is two octaves two major octaves and in that major octave, like I discussed in the last time, I've also highlighted the minor scale, the relative minor. And they are all the red coloured notes. So if you print it off in colour on a colour printer, then you can see also the minor scale, the relative minor, which is sort of within those major scales. So that will give you an idea. Um, I really hope that this helps um i'm going to go on holiday soon so i won't be online for probably the next three weeks or so so instead of doing a whole series of short videos i thought i'd be better off just doing like a reference file like a document that really helps you with anything that you want to play in the future um the last thing i need to mention is that the file that i've posted here actually goes below the central C so if you have a 12 hole chromatic with three octaves um, some of the notes are below the range of the harmonica um, the most most harmonicas come with I can't I don't know if you can see this so hole one two three four and then it starts again if this is a 16 hole of course so most 16 holes or 14 holes will have one two three four at the bottom but with a little star like a little star symbol and then it starts again with hole number one on the fifth hole 
or if you've got a 14 hole it starts on hole number three but starts there that's where it starts with number one so any of the hole numbers just in case you follow the tab numbers or anything like that <coughs> um, it's written according to this harmonica so if you see say a hole number with a star it will be in the lower octave the extra lower octave that you'll find on a 14 or a 16 hole chromatic so just to let you know if you can't play the notes on your if you've got a 12 hole or a 10 hole chromatic and you certain notes you can't play just transpose the whole thing an octave up so with all the hole numbers you just need to add four because if you remember four holes is a is a full octave so if you just do the same numbers but you add four onto it so instead of hole number three star you can use uh, number three on your 12 hole chromatic and anything above four you need to add another four number four um, I'm sorry if this sounds confusing but anyway you need to add four to all the whole numbers above the central C. So instead of whole four, you play whole eight. Instead of whole seven, you play whole 11, etc., etc. Et so that's the last thing I want to say about that file. I hope you download it. And again, you don't need to read or to practice all the 12 different keys. Maybe the three or four keys that you used to play in, you know, um, like I said, if you've got someone who, um, like a, a child or a grandchild or a family member who plays a, a clarinet in the key of C and you go, ah, hang on, to play with a clarinet, I need to play in B flat. So then you can have a look at B flat and see if you can get used to that. I hope this helps and I hope this encourages you to actually study a bit of music because to get used to playing the harmonica, especially in different keys, just takes a bit of effort. Take your time, look at it. Ah, hang on, hang on a minute. How does this work? And again, the tap numbers come with it, everything. So if you're not quite sure what you're playing, just use the tap numbers and then get used to reading it in stuff. I hope this helps. Any comments, any questions about this file, post them in. But again, I won't be online for the next three weeks, so it could take a while before I uh, I answer you. So sorry about that, but uh, hey, in holidays are important for anybody. Thank you very much for watching this. Um, I really hope I can encourage you to actually download the file, have a look and try to get your head around a few different keys. If, for instance, you've got a play, uh, one of your favorite pieces that you want to play is in the key of, I don't know, B, A flat or something. Have a look, have a practice. That shows you how to play it, get used to it. And again, playing different keys is like learning the harmonica all over again, just like you did when you learned to play in the key of C. Again, but it's just like starting all over again. I hope this helps. I hope the file helps a lot. And again, I would recommend to print it off in color if you can, or take it somewhere where you can get it printed off in color for you. Um, most supermarkets in the UK now, where they do a printing service, or maybe you've got a printing printing business uh, near you where you live, or maybe at the post office, or God knows what. There's options where you can get something printed off in color if you haven't got a color printer yourself. So I hope that helps and I hope this helps you and I hope it encourages you to try at least three or four different keys because it really gives you a lot more knowledge and insight on how the harmonica actually works, how the note layout actually works and etc. And once you can figure out three or four different keys, you can figure out the rest all by yourself. Maybe you don't even need the file for that. So I hope this helps. Good luck and I hope download it as much as you can. Go for it, play with it, keep it as a reference and just do with it. Thank you. Bye.